Hi everybody. Wife and I are coming out here to go camping tonight at the at the uh, the camp. We're more than halfway out here on the driveway and this is in our way. So, I'm going to walk to camp and I am going to I think the chainsaw I think I left the chainsaw um, in the camp, but I took the battery out. I was going to charge it, but I didn't charge it. So I think it's the, I have the battery in the truck somewhere. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to walk up here to camp. It's not too far from where I'm at. And, uh, whew, it is slick. Um, and bring it back so that we can try to cut that, that tree out of the road. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Ooh, I was very excited to come here and go camping for the first time in our camp. And then we got, we ran into this, you know. All right. All right, I did make it in. And I got the chainsaw. With no battery, I'm, I'm really hoping that the battery that's still in the truck has at least a little bit of charge left in it. Oh, definitely an adventure. But anyway, welcome to Pine Quill Hollow, <laughs> where it's always an adventure. Attempt one with a chainsaw didn't go as planned. There's the amount that I made it through before the battery decided that it didn't want to work anymore. Um, we do have a hatchet in the camp. It is eight o'clock at night. We still haven't started a fire in here. All right. Oh. Not gonna let my wife know that I just saw a mouse in here. Sorry, honey, when you're watching this. It doesn't help that, uh, hold on. We sealed up everything, but then I had to trim up the bottom of the door here. And so there's a decent sized hole under there. All right, so we finally pulled it. Almost slipped there. I did that with a hatchet, pretty impressed. So now the problem is moving it out of the way. So if you look over here, it's right there's the end. The rest of it already broke off. So I think maybe I can tip it on its end with help. Let's hope, and I think there's, if we can move it out of the way, I think my truck can fit in this spot. I don't think we can. We have to worry about this tonight. We will have to worry about it, but not tonight. All right, let's get to this. Alright, so it is just about 8.30, I think, 8.31 to be exact. Uh, we made it, we got unstuck, we made it to camp. So, there it is. Wife's got the, the battery powered lights on. Lighting up the camp. Next step, unloading everything and then get the fire started so we can start getting warmed up. We got the cots here. And we got our little camping bag and some blankets and pillows and... Uh, we just bought this because I forgot to get a, uh, I forgot to bring all of my camping stuff. So we got a whole new set. So let's get unpacked. Getting warmed up now. 
It's still cold in here, but we just got the fire going. And now, I'm gonna set up these cots so that we can get ready for bed here soon. guys we got the cots all set up and the fire going so I think we're gonna get ready for bed and just chill for the night and I will see you guys in the morning morning everybody <clears throat> wife is still sleeping so I came outside um, we got down to about four degrees last night outside um, I'm not sure what it was inside but <clears throat> I had a thermometer I'm not sure if it works. We found it at the property, um, at the other property we were getting at. But right now it says it's about 32 in there. <laughs> so about freezing temperature. Um, I probably woke up five times last night um, to stoke the fire. Um, and not putting any blame on anybody, but somebody snores. So I had a hard time falling asleep anyway. Uh, but other than that, it was good. So... Um, I probably won't videotape until she gets up, but I am making breakfast for us. I'm just going to make some sausage and eggs, and then we got to go pick up the kids from their grandmother's house. So, all right, I'll go make some breakfast. Well, we survived the night. It was cold in here. <laughs> I moved the thermometer a little closer to the stove, about where our heads were, and it's reading just over 50. So it wasn't too bad, but the stove, I had to stoke it probably every hour or so. It wasn't bad, but definitely probably going to go home and take a nap. After breakfast. Alright, just finished cooking breakfast. There you go. Eggs and sausage. So we'll dig in. Heading out. I gotta go pick up the kids. Uh, had a great night at the camp. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it was an unexpected adventure last night. So uh, I remember I actually yesterday I told my wife, I was like, I probably won't videotape because there's not gonna be much to videotape, just us camping. Um, but then that happened. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next weekend. See ya.